So we're going to play this. Okay, back in a minute. What did you think, Bomb? Oh, it was very good for a pre-alpha. Like graphically, it's like as good as any game that's out really at the moment. Uh, ran really smoothly. Didn't have any F FPS issues. It was kind of very suspensey. Did you like, die loads of times? Yeah. I fucking cat my pants and I was playing in a room full of men. So yeah. You know, I was sitting there going, with people around me. Hello, whelps of the internet. I'm here with Nee and Alien Isolation, which we played. Uh, me and Bomb both played earlier. Uh, which is obviously new big franchise game from the Alien. From Alien, from Alien, Aliens. So yeah, good game. I, I enjoyed it. Um, just going to talk to the community. You're the community manager, is that right? I am. Uh, I'm Nia. I'm community manager for Alien Isolation. Okay, excellent, excellent. So yeah, we're just going to talk about the game. I mean, I personally, I'm a massive Alien fan, right. fanatic, watched all the movies tons of times, played as all the games. And I must say, like, as a gamer as well, I've not played an Alien game that I've really, really connected with as much as this one. I'm not just saying that. But uh, it was very good. Um, so can you tell me like uh, a bit backstory, backstory behind the game, how it came about, that kind of stuff. Absolutely. So um, the game is set 15 years after the original events of Alien, Ridley Scott's Alien, and it follows the story of Amanda Ripley, um, Ellen Ripley's daughter. But she's obviously grown up uh, without her mum, and now she wants to find out what's happening, or you know what happened to her mother. And uh, Wayland representatives, uh, Wayland Utani representatives, uh, Samuels and Taylor approach her and say, "We found the black box." to the Nostromo. Okay. It's on the station called Sevastopol, out on the fringes of space. We're going to go claim it. Um, do you want to come with us and find out what happened to your mum? And she goes, yes. Uh, they go to Sevastopol and discover that things are happening that are beyond the control. And it's basically that's where Amanda's story begins and where your story begins as the player. And it's how um, she survives what is essentially about to happen to her on that station. Okay. Alright, so uh, but the game is basically survival horror, basically. So, um, as far as we can tell on the demo, anyway, there's basically just one alien, is that right? Um, that is the biggest, most constant threat that you should be thinking about throughout uh, the journey. Of but there, the are other, there are other threats? Um, obviously, Sebastopol uh, is, was a massive habitation area. Um, so, originally, it's a trading station. It was meant to house 400 to 600 people, right. um, but now loads of things have happened, and you've got to navigate that environment, that space fully aware at the same time that there is this enormous, uh, terrifying threat hunting you down, as well as the situation, so it's the you know, remaining residents who are still in the ship, as well as okay. you know, the actual crumbling environment itself. Oh, okay, I see. Now, presumably, on this day station somewhere, is there an armory or a gun locker? Can I not just go get a gun and just, just headshot the aliens straight away? Is that not possible? There will certainly be things that you can equip okay. um, yourself with and craft to help okay. you survive uh, you know obviously the demo that you just saw you're, you've only really got your motion tracker but there will be things in time that you can use to help you can like protect you yourself out. a little bit at least yeah I mean you can certainly find ways of deterring him okay. um, and which will help your survival uh, okay can you like set traps for the people get him to eat them instead um, that's, that would be spoiling it, I think. Oh, okay. Nice never try. know, you never nice know. Try. No, that's cool. Nice I mean, like I said, I, I, the, the thing that really stood out for me uh, is, like I said, big Alien fan. All the aesthetic and the sound design is just dead straight out of the first film, which is absolutely brilliant. I wouldn't have it any other way. But um, can you tell us the backstory behind the design? Like, where did the idea for the game, why, why this storyline? Why not, like, you know, in the future or, or even further past or anything like that? Or just a completely different story altogether? Um, yeah, of course. So our team, the console team at Creative Assembly, basically uh, three years ago, the game has been in development for three years, uh, we just sat down we just went, actually, no one's ever really looked at the story of Amanda. Um, okay. No one's ever asked what she's happened to her. She's mentioned in the film. She but is, that's it. yeah. She's mentioned in the director's mentioned. cut. And we were like, that's a really interesting story because if that happened to me, I'd want to know what the hell happened to my mum. So we took the idea to Fox and Sega, um, our publishers and you know Fox who own the franchise, and said, this is what we want to do. And they were fully supportive of that. They said, yes, here's a shitload of um, you know, extra info and data on the film. Oh, okay. You know, knock yourselves and out. Absolutely. And we got three terabytes of information from Fox with which we worked on for the environment, the sound. So that's why everything wow. that you see is so faithful. And the guys affectionately refer to it as lo-fi sci-fi. 
Yeah. And that's going back to the 1970s 70s design computers, 70s look keyboards. of what the future would be like. Yeah. So it's very faithful in that aspect. We wouldn't want it any other way ourselves because it's so heavily inspired by the first film. And um, that's why you see, you know, clunky push buttons, monitors, um, and that kind of like really nice level of like, God, oh, this stupid yeah. thing punch, <laughs> you know. Um, and that and that came out with our relationship with Sega and Fox and, and the materials that we were able to find um, with which we could then put into the game. That's cool. Excellent. So there we go, faithful to the franchise. Uh, what do you want to think about? Um, have you played any other Alien games that have come out recently? Um, you know, obviously community manager, I've got to go back and play quite a fair few of the games. Too. Colonial Marines? Um, I have played Colonial Did you like it? Um, what I loved about Colonial Marines was the fact that we were able to get um, lots of feedback, lots of information about negative how feedback, people, how people wanted their game, and we've taken that feedback and put it into our game to create yeah. what we think is a very different game. The thing oh, is yeah. you can't compare Alien Isolation to any of the other games that come before. I know that sounds a bit cheesy, but we're, for the first time, we're single player, yeah. we're first person, we're survival horror. It's not all like all the other games before where it's been multiplayer, co op, we haven't got any of that. So, on that level, it's the first of its kind. Yeah. So, it's very hard to compare. And I think, you know, you'd struggle to do so. And because it is all about haunted house in space, how am I going to survive this really, really horrible threat? It's, it's different. Yeah, it's a very different game. I have played Clone Marines, never finished it. I mean, I do like Aliens, very good, very good, but uh, it didn't have that feeling for me. Whereas that, this game is like, it's just got, it's just nailed everything so far for me from the first film. And it's, it's a horror. Um, like the first film at its core is a horror. Absolutely. It's not an action film, and, it, and that's what that feels like. Horror. I mean, I was scared. I was in there. It's I got killed a couple of times. I was like, oh, oh, and uh, sort of looked around. No one saw, so I got away with it. Um, but it's fine. I managed to complete the demo. My friends didn't complete the demo because they're new, so I managed to, I managed to finish it. Exactly. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was very good. So yes, thank you for talking to us today. It's very good. I'm um, glad you enjoyed it, and I'm glad you, you know, probably shot a brick. Oh, I should have said that. Should I have said oh, that? No, oh, no, no, swearing. Yeah. Not on our YouTubes, please. Uh, no, yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay. You're welcome. We get to shut the book. Ripley.